Hey guys, just adding on a couple videos so you can see about this super spacer stuff. Um, the first thing we did was um, make sure we got the humidity real low in the space. So we set up these dehumidifiers and we turned the heat up. And uh, basically we were working with about 16% moisture in the space so we really wanted to get it dry before we put the glass together so that's one of the things we had done and um, you know we're working with the space hot that's that's pulling the moisture out of the air so a couple dehumidifiers and um, keeping the moisture low was the first thing we did so um, and then we made sure we cleaned the glass really well between the panes we wore rubber gloves so we didn't get any oil where the ceiling goes and um, that's pretty much it so I'll just add this on so you can you can see um, how we went about doing it it's pretty easy if somebody wants to do this it's not bad you just put your glass together and it's reasonable the stuff is not that expensive the tool I think was um, the most expensive thing was this little tool, but you kind of need it to set, set it in just right. So this was like $200 and 200 something dollars for this. But, um, I mean, if you're doing enough of it, it's worth it. And then the space and material itself, I think it was um, somewhere near a dollar a foot, I think. I'm not sure, but um, reasonable. And, you know, we use the 5 8 space because now what we were we were after was uh getting this glass sorry to one inch because that's the uh that's the outside dimension of the unit we needed to fit in our, our aluminum frames we needed one inch so the 5 8 space are made that for us now we get to use all our gasketing that we already had so we saved a lot of money um, doing it ourselves and, and um, putting it all together, annealing it, cutting it. Because we got some quotes, and I don't even want to share that, which you'd be horrified how much these guys get. But it's like anything else. It's, you, they get what they get because um, not, not everyone's going to go to this extreme to do this. But, you know, we like doing these things, uh, so we learn as we do them. And um, that way there, we've already not, now we know how to do it. And next time, if we had a big a big job but a lot of glazing you know we won't hesitate to put together our own units so anyways I'll splice this to the other one so you can see you can see us actually putting the spacer together and adhering it to the panes and then you know we put the panes together my dad and myself we put them together so it's easy with two guys to get it lined up so so your panes are in the same same line that's important. All right, guys. I'll splice this to the other two videos. You can see how we uh, put it together and how it, how it came out. And then, like I was saying, the next videos will show how we probably caulk, seal these um, in between. And then we'll actually show you how we can get, get the argon in between these panes. All right, guys. Till the next one. spacer um, so we got this um, spacer tool it has a nice slot to line you in and you've got to peel away then you just float it off the glass Then when you come to your corners, 
there's a little uh just like that that pulls out then this twists just like that there it is hey guys now yeah, we just finished putting our paints together so I just wanted to share that and how that went so I don't know if somebody's gonna be doing their own insulated glass units this is one way to do it we use this product called the super spacer it's basically um, a foam material um, it's quarter of an inch thick and they put a foil on the one side and I guess the inside I don't know if it has a dust skin in there that absorbs moisture, but the inside is absorbing moisture in between the panes for you. So basically it saves a step because when you do the aluminum, you've got to cut the aluminum and then fill the beads inside the aluminum hollow. So, but this is all just one shot deal. Um, and so what it has is a um, release on each side. It's, it's a cell, it's a self adhesive, uh, sealant they have there that you peel one side and then you set one side and then once all one side set you peel off the second side and we had set up this little queuing station to make sure we put the paints together exactly the same so we just butt butt the paint here and here um, with the space around one side peel off the peel off the uh, release tape and then come and just set the second pane right on so we queue up so it's pretty um, straightforward then we have uh, where we chose to start and stop was not on the corners because the corners uh, have a have a have a roll seal there's no break at the corner we broke about I don't know four inches up all of them the starts and then we turned back and stopped there and then we, we had just some of our foil tape. And I just um, cut a little piece of foil tape and uh, finish it off like that. So this, all of our pieces that we had to anneal and um, cut, the um, makeup pieces and the runs, and now uh, we just stuck tape here just to keep them sealed up. But that's all of our cut pieces. And you know, one side is colored, one side's clear. Um, so when we were putting these back together, we were we were we made sure that we had put the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the stamp always faces out stamp faces out that way all the impurities face the inside so when we go to clean it we're not going to scratch it and i don't know that's pretty much it guys if somebody's going to do this it's really not that bad it's just just getting yourself going and comfortable with the um the super spacer and it just just runs along the edge and what happens is this little tool it's like a rabbit planer almost but uh, the idea is it's adjustable for the different widths of uh, spacer. I was just set for five eighths, and uh, this edge follows the glass like this, and it sets it in about three sixteenths off the edge. See it? And you just go along the edge like that, and it just sets the spacer in three sixteenths. And then it has a cutter, which is just a piece of little pipe that, that, that has a bevel to it. I don't know if you can see in there. And it just plunges down and makes a cut for the corner. And then all you do is just fold your corner. It makes a tight inside corner. All right, guys, we'll share what we do next. We're gonna caulk caulk all along in here and fill all this 3 16 in and that really makes the seal between the panes is the adhesive that we use and we'll share that with you 
Um, and then what we do is let it dry, let the panes dry and set, and then we're going to show you how we are going to fill it. But uh, anyways, this is the this is the product we're going to use to um, silicone foam spacer insulated glass sealant. We're going to fill that up and um, use the little putty knife and just flatten the flatten it flush with the end of the window. Alright guys, just wanted to share how we made out. This is all done. We put them all together and um, now they're ready for the sealant. And then once that sets up, we'll share how we're going to argon fill it so you can see how we do that. Anyways, that's it for now guys. Till the next one.